The Seasons of Life, Part 3. I entitle this stage Hands Off and Hands On Again. On a separate occasion, Paul said to Barnabas, Let us go back and visit all the towns where we preached. Barnabas just suggested taking John Mark, but Paul was not in favor. After a violent quarrel, they parted company. The story is told in Acts chapter 15. What woman, said Jesus, with ten drachmas, would not, if she lost one, light a lamp and sweep out the house and search diligently until she found it, and then call together her friends and neighbors? Rejoice with me, she would say. I have found the drachma I lost. This is in Luke chapter 15. For the Lord, the God of Israel, says this, People will buy fields and vineyards in this land again. Jeremiah chapter 22. These are Bible texts on which I want to tether the following ideas. Is there a way of viewing our own lives and the lives of our spouses, brothers, sisters, mothers, children, friends and colleagues, which is relatively accurate and which helps us understand what happens to ourselves and others and enables us to make the best of things. I believe there is. I believe that Jesus referred to this implicitly when he said, consider the birds of the air. Think of the wildflowers growing in the fields. In other words, look to nature. Henry David Thoreau kept a diary of everything that happened every day around Concord, Massachusetts for 10 years. Through his observations of the days and the seasons of the year, he concluded that our lives go through seasons too. If we want to understand our own experience, we would be wise to look to the seasons of the year as a metaphor. And, Thoreau said, if nature knows best, why not consult her first? Last time I suggested that the mid to the late 30s is usually a time when we settle down to do what we want to do with our lives. It is a busy time when men focus on developing their competence in their careers and being a husband and a father if they are married. A time when women give maximum energy to making a home, raising children, and volunteering to lead in activities which involve their and other people's children. Many women combine the roles of wife, mother, and full-time or part-time career. In the 30s, we are usually upwardly mobile, that is, inwardly, socially, relationally, and vocationally. At least, that is the way it appears to others on the outside. If we are not happy, other people often think we should be. Their opinion of us is summed up in their comments. They have everything going for them. Hopefully, most of us do have everything coming up roses because somewhere in the late 30s, something happens to our rose garden. We enter a season of life, which I refer to with the label, hands off. Barnabas suggested taking John Mark, but Paul was not in favor. After a violent quarrel, they parted company. What was happening to Paul? After all, here's a man who 10 years later would write, love is patient and kind. Love keeps no score of wrongs. Why this out of character irritability? Paul was around 40 when he was highly intolerant of John Mark's immaturity. John Mark had left Paul and Barnabas and returned home while all of them were on the first missionary journey. He was probably a teenager at the time and suffering from homesickness. Barnabas understood. Paul evidently did not. British psychoanalyst Elliot Jakes studied the lives of 310 artists and philosophers, including Beethoven, Goethe, Ibsen, and Voltaire. He noted that between the ages of 37 and 40 years, they all appeared to go through an unpredicted and unsettling period, which he referred to as the mid-life crisis. 
Listen to the words of one of his subjects. In the middle of the journey of life, I came to myself within a dark wood where the straight way was lost. How hard it is to tell of that wood, savage and harsh and dense, the thought of which renews my fear. So bitter is it that death is hardly more. Are these the words of a 40-year-old engineer employed by the federal government in Ottawa? No, these are the words of Dante in the opening stanzas of the Divine Comedy, written when he was 42 years of age in Italy around the year 1300. 